it's an absolute pleasure and honor to be on such a distinguished stage. And uh, my wife was asking me, okay, so you're going to TED, what are you going to talk? I was like, I have absolutely no idea. I was blank. I was black, as you see. So I was thinking probably I'll just share my story because it is what it is. I'm here in my uh, music industry. I've been really lucky to be doing what I love to do. Of course, I've been there also in my studies, listening to lectures and all that. But finally, I find myself so fortunate to be doing what I love, which is music. So I'd like to uh, start with the song that fetched me Filmfare Award in 2012 for the song that released in 2011. It's called Enamo Edo for people out there who don't know. It's a song that marked my career as a singer. And I owe it to Mr. Harris Jairaj to have given me such a wonderful song. So I'd like to start with that. Mutta metta mochi kaatu, patta patta ketta poli, pakka mandi nirkum bodu, titta mitta yetti poli, nirungada penne yendu nanjalam nanjagu, arakada penne yendu nachangal achagu, siri paaliya nini, sidai thai podu yena. Yenam pirale the kanavu, vannam pirale the nenevu, kangali pirale the nanavu. Yenam moyedo, asikki tavi kidu manadu, rakhe viri kidu kanavu, vittu parakhe du tolavu. Yen puviyamilla, puviyamilla, or kanchi pirayyo, puruvamilla, puruvamilla naale. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, my name is Ala Praju, and believe me, that's me. It's an old photograph. Uh, and Ala is definitely my name. It's not some title that I was given after I sang. No, it's my passport name because I hail from a musical family. Uh, my dad, J M Raju, uh, is a very well-known composer, singer, um, and also. A famous writer. He's released five, six books. He's writing his next book already. And my mother, Lata Raju, is a very well known dubbing artist, actress, singer, and a retired marketing director of All India Radio. And my sister, Anupama, she's a, an incredible writer herself. She's very well known in the poetry circuit. And uh, she's a wonderful singer, too. And to top it all off, she's the corporate training head in USD Global. And uh, my wife uh, had a 15-year IT experience. Now she's doing trading. And I have a daughter. She's in seventh grade. So I have a wonderful family to back up, to back me up with whatever I do. So I'm extremely, extremely blessed and happy every single day thinking of that. Whatever I am today was not planned one bit. And I am a type of a guy who goes with the flow and with utmost honesty. And I feel if one has that honesty in the passion that you have and you sincerely attempt it, you will get it sooner or later. And hopefully I, I leave something behind for you all to take that and apply it in your life. And uh, definitely believe me when I say it. Starting from there, I had a typical childhood like any Indian boy would do. All I wanted to do was play cricket because I was an incredible student. All I could do was just pass. And my parents had absolutely no problem in me passing because that's all they wanted me to do. Not that they gave me high scores of, you have to hit 80 or 90, otherwise that's it, you know, a lot. Absolutely nothing. So my childhood was very typical, no pressure. I just had to just pass and just clear and get to 12th grade and somehow do some degree, right? So when I was growing up, 
I was completely immersed in music because my parents were singers. They were doing a lot of stage shows at back then and my dad's band used to rehearse in our house. So I had this constant access to music. Yet, I had zero interest in music at that point in time. The only thing I cared was to play uh, cricket with my friends back in the street. That's it. So uh, after schooling was over, I entered uh, college. I entered Loyola College, Chennai. And I did my BSc statistics there. And that's when things changed. And that's the beautiful thing about college life. You know, uh, most people will resonate with their school life, but for me, it's all about the college. When I entered college, and Loyola is known for producing a lot of artists and sportsmen, and rightly so, because I was so lucky to have some wonderful classmates in my in my t in statistics department. We had almost a band ready. We had a guitar player, keyboard player, drummer, percussionist, so on and so forth. So it was almost like a band was there already. And I had zero interest even then. I was just roaming around with a cricket bat almost every day playing cricket and all that. And uh, quickly realized that that's not my cup of tea when I went for city selection to Chepok Stadium. Because there was city selection uh, going on and I had enrolled myself as an all-rounder, right? And that lasted for four balls, literally, because I faced people from MR of Pace Foundation coming and bowling at me. I don't know what joy they get to do all that for, to, to an amateur boy like me, but I could see my stumps flying the fourth delivery out of the nets. And I flew out of the nets as fast as the stumps after that. And I knew, okay, that is not meant for me. And uh, so, but anyway, the, 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 the playfulness in me was always alive. So uh, it, it, it didn't affect me too much. I knew, okay, cricket is not my cup of tea. It's fine. I'll just stick to my department uh, sports. That's it. But uh, one of the many days when we all spend more time in canteen, I'm sure all of you agree to that, right? So one of the many times I was spending time at the canteen with my friends, we were humming some tunes and all that. So my friend heard me hum some song and he found that I had this spark for singing. He said, dude, why are you not taking this seriously? I said, are you kidding me? No chance. Leave me alone out of this because I have this severe stage fright. So uh, the point is, so my friend said, no, you have that, I see it in you, and we have cultures coming up. We need an additional singer. Are you insane? You better enroll yourself. And he took me to MCC College, and they have this cultural called Deep Woods. And it was 1999, January, I still remember that day. Uh, just like how, was, how I was waiting for my turn, I was waiting for, my, for our band turn to step on stage, and I had to sing this song. Something about the way you smile. You may never know the reason why. Sani da pamaga magarisa. That was the first ever song I sang into the mic. And that's the first time I heard my voice through a mic. Like, like this. I never knew my voice sounds through an amplified source, like a microphone, right? So that was the start, 1999. I was 19 years old then. I had no clue what music is. Though I had so much access to music through my family, I had no idea what it would mean when you perform and when you get the audience reaction. Oh my God, it was surreal. And that was the start for me to know, okay, there is something in me and I have this spark. And I'm glad I'm here today. So there it started a new journey. And believe me when I say it, I didn't have a guru. I still don't have a guru, be it for my singing or for my guitar playing or bass playing. But what in in turn happened was because of the sheer passion and the madness I had towards an instrument, it, it, it was a deep love. Deep love is an understatement actually. It was a fire almost that I used to hug my guitar and sleep in the night. So the only way I could learn things was going and listening to concerts. And I would not leave any concert that happens in Chennai. I'll go watch it, specifically watch out for the bass guitar player. And he used to note how he used to move the fingers and probably try to get a best seat so that I can visually see it, musically enjoy it, and I'll register everything and make notes in my head. This was, this was an ongoing process for a long time because I never had a master, so I it had to figure things out all by myself. So that journey was wonderful. And eventually, when I finished my statistics, then I moved to MCA. I added uh, my uh, MCA in uh, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. And that's when I rediscovered my love for music and uh, we had some wonderful bandmates there. Then we started winning competitions, specifically IIT Sarang. Then I won Best Instrumentalist Award. Then we won the title IIT Sarang in 2003. 
Of course, it had a lot of homework. I'm just making it quick. It, it had sleepless nights, and believe me, uh, the amount of classes I've come to go watch movies were very less. It's, it's in all honesty, I'll say. The only things I would have done to bunk classes is only for culturals, because I was so mad in it. And uh, finally, when 2003, 2004 times, and finally finished my MCA, I did take up my work. I did go to IT because I was not confident enough to switch to music, rightly so. So I wanted to do a proper justice to my studies, so I did take up a MCA seriously. Somehow grabbed 80%. I have no idea how I did it, but I did it. Then, uh, luckily by then, I developed a deep interest and some kind of clarity as to what I have to do with my music, right? So there, my friends played a key role. They said, dude, you have this in you. Give it a shot, right? Please take this seriously. Give it a shot. You never know where this is going to take you. Not everybody is blessed with music. But the only difference between me and my friends, who even, even they were incredible in what they did, I probably did that jump, which is the most toughest thing for one to do, especially when you're working. And I did have a good job. I was with Hetzel Technologies initially. I went to UK for a while. Uh, I was, then I was back, got married. Uh, usual lifestyle, right? Like any IT professional would have, thinking of on-site trips, you're getting requests from clients and preparing your visas for the next trip. You don't know when you're going to get it and all that. Then I moved to Verizon Data Services. My office was in Gindi, Olympia Tech Park. And as I was doing all these things, I never left music. I was practicing all the time. And uh, whenever I used to get gig calls, I'll just request them. If it's a weekend gig, great, I'm there. And I will used to prepare some lies to tell my manager, saying that, oh, I have this bad stomach ache, and I'll just quote for the rehearsals and all that. It's not the right thing to do, but hey, I had to follow my passion, right? So did all that, and finally, when time came, it was six years already in IT, but because of the sheer deep passion I had for music, I never left it. And I buckled up some confidence in six years to switch to music full time. And July 16, 2009 was my last working day in the IT industry. And it was the most surreal experience, the feeling that I got when I quit IT for what I love. But believe me, when I did that, my wife was carrying, I had Absolutely nothing in my account because I took up all the provident fund balance I had once you quit, you get your stuff, right? I put everything into investment. I started an own studio. I have an own recording studio, which is left over my dad, but I took it up. I made it as a business. So it's 12 years now since I'm running my studio successfully, thank God. End of the day, the point is simple, dude. You got to do what you love then you, you will never do this. When you do what you love, you'll never look into your watch. But point being, you got to chase your dreams. And I firmly believe I stand here in front of you all because I never left my passion. So I request you all to go search that in you. Find out what is that you actually resonate with, right? And please follow that. And on that note, I would like to end with a song. Yengeyum kadal Vili galil vandu ovondrum pesa Ven kalai saral Mugatinil vandu satendru moodal Pulada pada Pada basam tandu pada tiluda Mudal varum kada Mandal munur Pande varum kada Yenum teeni Kadalale gadil kanum neelam nee Mane vanami Marivail Yananan Gitalam Kadar Karaila than Madal Veli Akat Road Kachaga Palakural Gul Palapala Viral Gul Tamay Padi was Say the Rukum Pedialilu Nadu Ira Vinilu Idu Oyadi Oyadi Siripinilu Pala 
சினங்களில் மிக கலந்து காத்திருக்கும் பார்க்காமல் கொஞ்சம் பேசாமல் போனாலும் உள்ளம் தாங்காது தாங்காதே கண்கள் தான் பின்பு தூங்காது எங்கேயும் காதல் விழிகளில் வந்து ஒவ்வொன்றும் பேச வெண்காலை சார முகத்தினில் வந்து சட்டென்று மூட பொல்லாத பாடல் பரவசம் தந்து பாதத்தில் ஓட முதல்வரும் காதல் மண்ணில் முன்னூறு ஆண்டு வாழும் I would like to end with this. This song is a love song. It's from a movie called Engame Kadal. All I have to say is this song says unconditional love. It just preaches unconditional love. This is what we need in today's world. Guys, keep your ego aside. Spread love and positivity and follow your passion. Believe me, we have a better world. Thank you so much. Thank you.